Bleach Japan. Can't say I'm used to that yet. Same for me. Still, to see the Seiryu clan so openly transition to a non-profit and even be welcomed by the public? Well, I've never seen a chairman do that before. Please, I'm just thinking of the future. Nonsense. This was by no means an easy feat, you know. Here, here. For years, anti-gang laws had given us a choice of two options. Stay small or go underground. And now we're basically endorsed by the country. Finally, there's another way out. The Yakuza have been aiding this country for decades. Ever since all that chaos snaked its way in after the war. This is the evolution of that. Better yet, I'd say it's exactly how things should be. Absolutely. It might even help the world to see the truth that the Yakuza are still needed. A necessary evil, if you will. Yeah. We'll take our rightful place at the heart of it all. Secure our legacy for years to come. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza is looking real bright. Hell, it's brighter than ever before. Yes, and for that, I'll need you all to be at your absolute best. I'm counting on you. Now then, let's call it a day. Thank you, everyone. I thought I told you to cut that out. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, thanks again. Narasaki, a moment if you would. Sir? I wanted to discuss some personnel changes. Honestly, I'm ashamed. Only Yakuza filth would resort to a cheap tactic like this. Still, you want to let your hate run wild, well... A knife in the back's just the thing. Minimal effort. Maximum suffering. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza? <laughs> it was a pipe dream from the start. When the trash is full, the only thing left to do is take it out. <laughs> All this time they've put their trust in me. And they've had no clue. It's almost tragic. Isn't it, Sawashiro-san? I was hoping you'd live long enough to see it. The only future your kind have waiting. Now then, it's been about a week since the incident. Could you tell us more about the people who attacked the Seiryu clan offices? Well, firstly, it should be said that this marks a historic shift for the Yakuza world. A few years ago, the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance, for decades the Yakuza's two biggest players, mutually disbanded. Among those in the trade, this event was labeled the Great Dissolution. The largest remaining Yakuza group thereafter was the Seiryu clan who, of course, was the target of last week's attack. Right, and? And now, the same Seiryu clan, the current frontrunner, has taken up the torch to disband every other group still in Japan. Yes, I see. That certainly does sound historic. But the real question is, is it possible? You'd be fair to ask. At the very least, it does seem unrealistic. However, as a first step to seeing it through, the clan officially confirmed its disbandment to the police just the other day. So the torchbearers took initiative, set an example to the group still active. 
Correct. Additionally, the Seiryu clan also aims to reintegrate former members back into society. They mean to implement an occupation support program in partnership with a Hawaiian volunteer group, it seems. And in order to officiate things with the government, they've since reformed into a non-profit. Naturally, as the country can't just openly cooperate with organized crime. Of course, while it may be a means to an end, it does show how serious the Seiryu clan's taking things. Let's not forget, they did disband. It's also expected that the other Yakuza groups across the country will follow suit, leading this movement to now be called the Second Great Disillusion. Now, some out there won't take too kindly to this, as you might have guessed. And there's a spark, the connection to the incident at the Seiryu headquarters. Ah, so those were the dissenters? They were responsible for the attack? Looking at those involved, yes, it seems highly likely. Speaking of, actually, the man pictured here is the one they call Hiryu. It's suspected he's the central figure of those opposing the Yakuza's disbandment. Really? And just who are we dealing with here? You'll recall I mentioned the Tojo clan earlier, previously one of the largest Yakuza groups in Japan. He's one of its former chairmen. In short, a true blue Yakuza big shot. Rumor is, Kiryu wants anything but disbandment, which can only mean he wants the Yakuza back on top. I see. Well, regarding Kiryu, it's also said he has ties with the so-called Hero of Yokohama, that being one Ichiban Kasuga. He too has been in the news of late, after forcing former Yakuza to commit theft under the guise of reacclimating to society. And Kasuga's also a former Tojo clan member on top of that. As it stands, there's a good chance he's acting under Kiryu's command, a cog in his machine. Therefore, we're looking at a unique conflict. In one corner, the Siryu clan who seek to tear down tradition and forge a new path. And in the other, Kazuma Kiryu, who aims to revive the old ways for his own interests. A clash between new and old ideologies. So it seems. Thank you for your time. Following the attack, the culprits promptly went into hiding. As citizens remain frightened, it is imperative that these assailants be found as soon as possible. Got word from the lookout. Doesn't seem like people know you're here. Sorry to trouble you like this, Chief. With all that's happened, this was the best place I could think of. Hey, I'm not one to turn away women and children. That being said, I never thought I'd see you back here again. <laughs> you even brought friends this time. Our apologies, Chief. We really appreciate it. The world outside says you're a criminal certainly got the face for it but I'll tell you I only ever trust what I see for myself I've seen a lot you're not the kind of man to shake things up still <laughs> that mug's terrifying <laughs> he heard you the first time thank you sir when the time comes I'll be sure to repay you well y'all just kick back for now and check in again soon The Chief really helped us out. Thanks for doing all this, Kasuga. Nah, I can't exactly say we're in the clear. But we're lucky to have a safe zone, especially with the world watching. Yeah. And plus, we can't stay hidden forever. That'd be nice moving quick. Once the Waste Disposal Project on LA Island's in motion, countless Seiryu clan members will be exploited. We need to act before Epina gets the chance. Right. <laughs> Ebina? Huh. It's been some time, Kasuga-san. Missed Japan, did we? Japan? Wait, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> and I thought you wouldn't be surprised. But no matter. I got reports from Dwight's men, just as you were off and on your way. Bryce and I are still business partners, you know. Anyhow, Kiryu-san's there with you too, yes? Kiryu-san? 
And what if he was? What do you want, Evina? Kiryu-san. It's fine, Kazuga. With all his resources, Evina probably knew we'd meet up. Glad you see how it works. And with that, I've got some great news for you. Our Yakuza rehabilitation program was approved. Just yesterday, the government gave us free reign to see it through. Well, isn't that nice? So what? You call us just to get your kicks or something? Of course. The least I can do is share the joy with others. <laughs> Goody. Actually, there's one other thing. Thought perhaps you'd want to know. Huh? It seems I've caught myself a rat. And I must say, it's a big one. Kasuga-san should appreciate this. Captain... Uh, did you really think I wouldn't notice his betrayal? Of all people? Knowing his intentions, I let him roam free until the proverbial ball started rolling. In fact, Sawashiro-san was quite instrumental in gathering our colleagues. They poured in left and right. What do you plan to do with him? Are you still set on taking revenge against the Yakuza? I doubt you'd make this kind of display otherwise. Who would? Revenge? <laughs> Who's to say? My reason for this is simple. I could think of no better bait to reel you in. You wouldn't leave him to die, would you? It's not in your character. Don't worry. About me. Apologies. Now, if you all would please come to the top floor of the Millennium Tower by 10 p.m. tomorrow. Miss our little appointment, and I dispose of the rat, plain and simple. Till then. Aiding us with a hostage. Guess he wants us out in the open. Yeah, we know the truth about his plans. That's the last thing he wants. This guy must be special. What with Ebina holding him like that, right? It's our hero, I mean. No way! You could just ignore that. I, I mean, we got the talent, don't we? So, let's go save him. No. Ebina's not the only issue here. Not with what's happening overseas. As just announced, the Seiryu Clan, now known as Nonprofit Bleach Japan, rehabilitation program and all, has been officially approved by the Japanese government. It is believed the government and Bleach Japan had been coordinating their plans behind closed doors for some time. A week prior to the announcement, a cruise ship carrying former Seiryu Clan members left Japan for Honolulu. The ship arrived in the city just earlier today. On location, Hawaii's governor and Bryce Fairchild of partner organization Polykana welcomes the vice representative of Bleach Japan, Eiji Mitamura, as he stepped ashore. Oh, sneaky bat! The first wave's already there. The ship is scheduled to depart for Nelly Island tomorrow, where the program will officially get underway. They're bringing the Yakuza to the island tomorrow. Once they touch down, neither the state of Hawaii nor the Japanese government will care what happens next. They'll have wiped their hands clean, and that'll be that. And from there, they'll work as Bryce's slaves, dumping nuclear waste till the day they die. What a joke. We don't have a lot of time, not for Japan or Hawaii. What's the call? We split up. Might be dangerous. We can't let either one go. Kasuga, about Ebina. Mind if I handle things out here? You go and stop Bryce in Hawaii. Huh? Any reason? Actually, I'd like a word with him. There's some speculation, of course. But it's about Ebina's origins. His what? We can talk outside. I'll be waiting. Uh. 
Excuse me. Yeah. No. <laughs> What's up? Thanks. <laughs> yes. Ichiban. Hmm? Touch on. Thanks. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Thanks. Son. Yes. So, Abby and I, and I are brothers? If what Daigo said is true, then. Yeah, you'd be half-brothers. Assuming you're Arakawa's son, which, of course, still isn't clear. There's no black or white for a Yakuza. Only the boss makes that call. And you're sworn to go along with it. Mebina probably didn't care much for that line of thinking. That's my guess, at least. The Hikawa family patriarch, that being Ebina's grandfather, or the marriage between his daughter and Arakawa. He never once considered their feelings. And when Arakawa asserted his love for Akane-san, that same man tried to have him killed. Why was Hikawa angry? Because his daughter was shamed. Not even close. It's because he made the call, yet Arakawa made his own. For all the man had, Hikawa just couldn't let that go. And the result? Maybe not lost the father, while his mother could only go so far. He was born of the Yakuza, and that would follow him the rest of his life. 
This isn't anything special either. I've seen similar tragedies happen countless times. I even had the chance to change those old ways once or twice. I was the fourth head of the Tojo clan, but even then, I chose a different path. So that's it. You feel like you gotta step up and take responsibility. Ebinus made his choice, and I can't change it for him. Taking responsibility is already well out of the question. I know that. Regardless, I don't want him to stray past the point of no return. If he goes any further with this, that'll be it. So I'll give all I have to stop him. I have to. It's the only way I could ever make amends. I've been part of this since the beginning, after all. And with that, Kasuga, I'm leaving everything else to you. No matter what era you're in, there's always someone who breaks the rules and strays from the rest of the pack. People just like us, for what it's worth. Those people deserve a place to call home, a chance to keep going. Can I ask you to give that to them? Me? I'll take on the Yakuza's past. But you... I want you to handle their future. <sighs> well, tall order. And just like that, you realize what you're asking me to do here, right? Anyhow... You can count on me, Kiryu-san. You know, I joined Hello Work for all kinds of reasons. But now I see it's really just because I wanted the same future you do. Thank you, Kasuga. That said, I do have one thing I gotta ask of you. Hmm. Don't go throwing your life away. Ebina has got to be stopped and you may be short on time but don't treat this like it's the end cure your son you gotta live you live every last second you can when you go you go out strong I won't let you otherwise hmm. well, once this is over <laughs> I'll need help cleaning up all this dissolution business. I mean, come on. You were a part of it too, right? All right. It's a deal. <laughs> what? Just funny, you lecturing me. <laughs> well, you live this long, you're bound to hit a surprise or two. And, hey... I'll bet there's more to come, right? <laughs> right. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. All right. Now, I've got a lecture for you. Yo! Back then, just what did you tell Saigo? I must have... Really been something to set her off like that. So, she's still pissed at me, huh? <laughs> you proposed to her, didn't you? Uh, I did. <laughs> and she turned me down hard. I even talked it out with Namba and adachi san and apologized to her a ton. Oh, she was being all short about it. Hey, come on. Don't be so pathetic. Oh, sure. Wait, well, well I, I'd love some advice. I... Actually, uh, never mind. You don't seem like a, a ladies' man. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, you're a good dude. Well, give me some credit. 
I've been around a few times. Wait, have you really? Jeez, I, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't expect that. So what, you, you've actually proposed and stuff? <laughs> of course. For real? What all you say? You know, for reverence and stuff. Hmm. When I proposed... Actually... I said I love you. And that was about it. I love you. <gasps> no! Hmm? <gasps> Idiot! Why do I gotta be such a dumbass? <laughs> hey, what's gone into you? Hey, sorry guys. We got an emergency. Are you? You're from the Daidoji. You've really made a mess of it now, Kazuma Kiryu. Not only did you ignore Hanawa's standby orders, you went and made yourself famous. Last I checked, you're supposed to be dead. This is a serious breach of agreement. But I don't really need to tell you that, do I? That all said, the truth of the matter is, you've done some great work. In addition to securing your target, Akane, you also protected the key figure in the case, this Lani girl. You even brought them safely to Japan. You've got an iron will, and you're a superb fighter. Furthermore, Ichiban Kasuga calls you a friend. No one else would have what it takes to pull this off. You make it sound so official, like all that was according to plan. No, far from it. But after everything, you've certainly made things convenient for us. Right now, it's not hard to imagine what you're all thinking. Stop the Seiryu from getting shipped off to Nele Island. Is that right? It's the same on our end. But didn't the Japanese government officiate that? Aren't you with them? You seem to misunderstand. Far as government goes, our allegiance lies with the Citizens' Liberal Party. However, four years ago, with Ryo Aoki's failures, the CLP quickly lost trust and therefore the race. Which means the current government is our political enemy. Tch, sounds like you just want to drag them down. With them out, you guys might just find your way back in, is that it? Make of it what you will. Now, you'll have to travel in secret, so we've got a private jet waiting. Just give us the word, and we'll get you there in no time flat. You're pretty cooperative, provided our interests align. Call it a politically informed decision. However, that's not the only reason we're helping you out. There's another. <laughs> Hanawa, you see, was tasked with submitting a daily report. These would usually include a brief summary, but on one rare occasion, he added his own impressions. They were about all of you. These people are not motivated by any self-interest. They'll risk their very lives, whatever the mission. They are to be treated with respect as equals. Do so, and we'll surely achieve our goals. His words. As it turned out, that would be his final report. <clears throat> you know, he rarely ever praised people. You should be thankful. The private jet leaves tomorrow morning. Those headed to Hawaii be ready to go first thing. So Japan's future is on us. Didn't expect that, but hey, what's one more thing at this point? You scared yet? Not a chance. Tomi, Adachi-san, Junji, Chichan, 
Will you guys go back to Hawaii with me? Of course. Think that's pretty much a given. Nanba, Sunny, Saigo, Zhao. It's all come to this. Will you join me at Millennium Tower to see it through? We're with you all the way, Kiryu-san. Right. We settle things tomorrow, then. Make sure you get some rest. Huh. I like your spirit, pal. <laughs> and speaking of spirits, what say we enjoy a few, huh? Hey, wow. You sure about this, Chief? <laughs> well, it ain't free. So come home safe, all right? You can pay me back then. Chief, you got it. We'll definitely take you up on that. Don't you worry. I got some soda and candy just for you. Trouble sleeping? Oh, uh, what? Ichiban? Oh, uh, sorry. Did I scare you? Oh, <laughs> no, it's fine. But Ichiban, shouldn't you be asleep? Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's nerves or something, but uh, I can't catch a wink. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> So, uh, Sachan. Uh, yeah? Um, what's up? Well, uh, 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 Sachan, if we both make it back safe, uh, well, there's something I need to tell you. Y yeah? Uh, when the time comes, will you hear me out? Wait, what's this all about? Please. Just a word. That's all I ask. <sighs> okay. Alright. Then we better both come back in one piece. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> you be careful, Sachan. You too. Well, uh, oh, good night. Uh, good night. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Now I can sleep. Hmm. Still awake? But, yes. It's been so long since I've been home, I guess I'm a little restless. I'm sorry, did I wake you? Are you cold? I'm okay. Thank you, Akane. Hmm? Huh? For staying with me this whole time. Hmm. You're welcome. So, um... Do you like Polycana? Hmm? I do. It's, well, it's a special place for me. Then, I think it's my turn to protect you. I'm going to keep your special place safe. Lani. I mean it. I know I can do that. So rest easy. I won't let anything happen to it. Thank you, Lani. That means the world. Okay, let's both get some sleep. Okay, good night. Thank you. Got somewhere to be? I'm not running away. I'll be back by morning. So, please, just give me some time. So that's it. Just like that, it's all gone. Looks like you're about ready. Whoever's going to Hawaii, now's the time. Stay safe. It goes for them and you, Kiryu-san. Same to you. Till we meet again, Kasuga. Kiryu-san, I hope he's okay. We just do what we gotta do. Namba and the others are with him. He'll be fine. Right. The Bleach Japan ship has already left for Nelly Island, and it won't take long. We need to hurry after them. Maybe, but we can't just rush in. Let's make sure we're ready. This fight's our responsibility. Kiryu and the others are counting on us to win. Right. Let's make him proud, then.
Why don't you take a load off? Listen. Should I open it? Sweet! I think I'm getting used to these squalls. When it rains in Japan, we all rush to the store for umbrellas. Hmm. They just roll with it here. No need to worry about storing it or having it stolen. I hate when it gets sunny halfway through the day. So many times I get home and realize I forgot it at work. If you buy an expensive umbrella, you're less likely to forget it. Really? Or would you just feel worse if you did? That possibility would make it stick in your mind, though. Nothing's worse than losing something expensive. Yeah, I can see that. Knowing its price would keep you on your toes. Okay, but then what if it gets stolen? Well, to prevent that, put a name tag on it. Simple, but it's better than nothing. Name, huh? How about Umbrella? Your own name, genius. You're not naming the Umbrella. Huh? Oh, right. I gotcha. No wonder you forget your Umbrella so much. Has the rain stopped? a completely different vibe compared to the beaches and malls. Yeah, it's sketchy here, all right. You have to keep your guard up. <laughs> it's strange, but I actually feel at peace in this dreary your place. Problem. Perhaps this is simply instinct for someone who's made the underworld their home. I don't know. I like that smile you had on the beach while we were under the bright sun. I don't think the shadows are the only place where you belong. How in the world did you manage to say that without a shred of embarrassment? Well... Maybe you're not wrong. All right. Feel like I've gotten to know them well. Is cheese so good with alcohol? Right? You can pair it with wine. A match as old as time. Or even sake. Some hypotheses suggest that while we drink alcohol, our bodies naturally start to crave the essential amino acids found in cheese, which enhances our liver function. Cheese also helps to break down the alcohol and relieve fatigue, so that's another factor. Moreover, Cheese is rich in calcium, which is believed to neutralize acidity in the blood. <sighs> cheese and wine are one thing. Kasuga and learning's another. Why do I even bother? That is great. You need my plate. Got a good one. <sighs>
Aloha! <laughs> you gonna cry for fun? Sorry if I messed this up. Here we go! Right off! Care to dance? Be honored! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hold it together. Open one. I'll take it. And at this rate, the sound of those waves will have me out like a light. It's like listening to healing music. You know, the ocean is known for its calming effect. I've even found that listening to atmospheric ocean sounds helps me sleep. Oh, so it's not just me. And maybe tonight I'll just knock out right here. If you want back pain, a cold, or you'd like being robbed, then by all means. I second thought, my room is pretty comfy. We're really opening up. Damn, we're so close now. Sure is a beautiful starry sky. It is, but I'm partial to the stars you can see over Komijol for the Bone Festival. Sonny and I sit and moon gaze while eating tango. Oh, for real? So you guys go all out celebrating the holidays then? Social events are crucial. They help us to better appreciate culture and lift morale. Then tango and other treats can be enjoyed to the fullest extent, as they should be, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know it. So, how about next time we go stargazing? Let's enjoy some shave ice. Hmm, that sounds nice. Count me in. All right. All complete. I'm beginning to feel a little hungry. And then let's stop somewhere. What are you in the mood for? Hmm. Yo! Sup, Joongi? You up for another drink together? <laughs> yes, of course. Your company is always welcome, Kasuga-san. I was glad to see that some things never change. For instance, Namba-san is just as pleasant as ever. A former nurse indeed, given his bedside manner. But I could tell that Kiryu-san trusted him. That's great! I was hoping he'd pull through. Man, did he live up to my expectations. Real great. So even Namba's kicking ass over there. Speaking of Ijin Cho, I just remembered something. Do you mind if I ask you something personal? Huh? No need to beat around the bush. Go ahead, ask away. Well, it's about you and Saiko-san. Huh? Uh, what? Wait, what? What about me and Sajan? You proposed to her a few years ago, correct? But after that, she stopped contacting you. How are things going now? Oh, right. Let me guess. You heard about it from Namba. I haven't told you guys about that personally, so I, I was wondering how you knew about it. Oh, no. I didn't hear about this from Namba-san. 
the Komijul web catches even the most minuscule of details. That was how I found solid information about you failing your proposal, Kasuga-san. Bro, seriously? You guys actually track that kind of info? What's up with that? Wait, wait. And do Sunny and Zhao also know that I proposed? It's not like I can hide information from Sunny. As for Zhao, well, she had no reason not to tell him. Right. But man, did you really have to? I didn't want that spreading around. <laughs> what is there to hide at this point? We're all comrades who've put our lives on the line, aren't we? Then, you think you could give me some advice? Unfortunately, I doubt I could share any good advice. I am, however, confident in being a good listener. So please, feel free to rant as much as you'd like. I promise not to tease you or make fun of you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I get it. Guess it wouldn't hurt to talk about it. The day I proposed to Sachan, I, I know now that I spouted all sorts of selfish things at her. I told her she could quit her job whenever we have kids, and and that we could visit Arakawa-san's grave to make him happy. Sachan just smiled and said she wasn't bothered, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her since. Not even once? Not even once. She's completely ignoring me, won't even reply to my messages or pick up my calls. I've been avoiding Sachan's place too, if I showed my face there, I'd just be adding more fuel to the fire. Ah, uh, I see. That's reasonable of you. Uh, have you met up with her recently? Yes, actually. I saw her when Kiryu-san came by. She treated me the same as always. Uh, same goes for Namba and the others? Right. My apologies. This must be hard for you to hear. <sighs> Guess it's pretty damn clear she's drawn a line between us. Hey, Junki. Do you happen to know why Sachan's been avoiding me? While I did discover that you proposed to her, I didn't unearth any details regarding what you said. And from my perspective, it would be wise not to speculate. But if Saiko-san truly intends to avoid you, then I'm sure she would have left you with some words to mull over. Huh? At least, I would think so, knowing what I do of your relationship. Had it been anyone but you, Kasuga-san, I have no doubt she would have told them to take a hint the moment she cut things off. <laughs> you would be nothing more than a stalker if you kept it up after that. Yeah, I totally get that. That's why I haven't been reaching out to her. But you're not the sort of man who would hurt Saiko-san in any way. That hardly needs to be said. Saiko-san is also aware of that. Otherwise, if she did want to end things with you, she would have made that obvious. So basically, you're saying Sachan hasn't completely given up on me? I believe that's very much possible. Still, it would be difficult to confirm that yourself. If neither of you get the chance to reach out to one another, could I be your middleman? <laughs> Thanks. I, I appreciate the thought, dude. <laughs> I'm the one who's got to figure things out with Sachan, though. If you actually had the chance to speak with her, then I wouldn't have acted so presumptuously. But as things stand, with her not replying to your messages, it may be difficult to break the stalemate. I promise you won't regret this. It's best to rely on your friends in times like this. <laughs> You're a nicer guy than I thought, Jungi. Well, that's rather harsh of you, isn't it? But I'll overlook that for today. Well, can you blame me? I, when we first met, it felt like you were always making fun of us. Sometimes, the strangest food may become an acquired taste. The longer you chew on it, the more flavorful it gets. Ichiban Kasuga, you are very much the same way. And for someone in my profession, a friend who can cross those boundaries is all the more precious. You, and Saiko-san, and everyone else, I consider you all to be my good friends. Oh, come on, man. 
I'm way too sober to handle all this sap right now. <laughs> yes, I suppose that's fair. My apologies. Uh, excuse me, barkeep. Two more drinks here, please. One for me and one for my good friend here. <laughs> Fine. Guess I gotta go for another round if you're gonna be that insistent. Drink up, Jungi. Your friendship and to Sachan, too. <laughs> but of course, that's what I was planning to do this whole time. Hello! Hi! Aloha! <laughs> hey! This ain't a show, Dipjin. Oh, damn. The night sky's beautiful here. So different from Japan. The universe is incredible, isn't it? What's up? You sound depressed or something. No, it's not like that. Just imagining what it'd be like to go to space. You never get tired, do you? Hero first, astronaut next. Being an astronaut is probably way harder than being a hero, too. You don't just need to be in shape. You need perfect communication skills. Right? We're working with people from other countries, after all. Can't risk any gaffes, yeah. Have to keep the air clear. Which is hard, since there's no air in space. <laughs> I gotta say, Adachi-san, that one was rough. Even for you. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Thanks for trying to clear the air down here, Ichiban. Wish yet? Um, uh, I did think of something, but. Don't want to say it three times fast? You remember, but yeah, I don't know if I can really pull it off. These stars go by in a flash. <sighs> Afraid I might choke in the heat of the moment. Could happen. Maybe make your wish easy to say. What do you mean? Say your wish was to become a billionaire. Then you could just say, money, money, money. That does seem a bit more doable. <laughs> Actually, that is way easier. But doesn't it kind of reek of desperation? If you were a shooting star, would you want to make that wish come true? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't break any rules, but uh, you're right. Lack sportsmanship. <laughs> the idea itself's not bad, though. <laughs> Thanks for trying to help. Uh, not a single shooting star yet. 
The sky sure is great, though. Yeah. Guess the rumors might not be true after all. I was really hoping to see one. <sighs> well, let's go. No point in wasting any more time. Hold up! Before that! <gasps> oh, well, how about that? Now there's shooting stars everywhere you look, in all the time in the world. You're spectacular. I wish that I could. <laughs> I did it! I said my wish, Ichiban. I'm so happy. Hey, good for you. What a perfect backdrop up there. Want me to take your picture? You should be in it too. Let's commemorate wishing on a star. Thank you, Ichiban. I'll treasure this pic forever. And the many more to come. Yeah, as many as the stars in the sky. What do you want? Nothing like an ocean view to go with some wine. Makes it taste even better. Wow, you sure look happy, Adachi san. Heck yeah, I am. Always better to live happy, am I right? Now you're winning in life as long as you're having fun. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, come to think of it, I've been to all sorts of places ever since I met you. I even took a trip to Osaka, too. Oh, we sure did. Now here we are, two pals, having some drinks in Hawaii. Oh, we're a long ways from home now. You know, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to call ourselves... Travel Buddies, hmm? Isn't that kind of an exaggeration? Nah, we just gotta make it happen. Let's go on even more trips. All of us. Paris or... Ooh, New York would be great. Any places you wanna visit? Me? Um, uh, I don't know. Anywhere you want to go, since I can always count on you to liven up the whole trip. <laughs> there you go again, buttering me up. Flattery gets you nowhere, you know. I ain't messing with you, though. Honestly, if I got my friends with me, even trekking the entire globe sounds fun. I guess you're not wrong there. Maybe it's about time to get Koichi Adachi's mystery tours up and running, then. And where the heck are we gonna be going? Hey now, the fun is in the surprise. Or, would you rather roll some dice to decide on a destination? That make me more anxious. Oh, the sea breeze here feels real nice. And the ocean's damn gorgeous at night, too. That makes for a nice photo op, huh? Actually, why don't we take one? You in, or what? What? Me? Yeah, I mean, we're already here and all. Hell, count me in, too. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. Maybe we ought to go around taking pictures more often. Definitely. Let's just keep at it and explore where we can. Sounds good to me.
Aloha. Oh, I'm sick. Tom Brady. What are we waiting? <laughs> I wonder what they're bringing for dessert. I can hardly wait. Totally feel you. These full course meals make it exciting not knowing what you're gonna get. Oh, it's kind of like a mystery train ride. Mystery train? What's that? Oh, there was a time when travel agencies would offer tours, but the destination was kept secret on purpose. Oh, they were pretty trendy back in the day. Huh. That does sound familiar. You know, I actually went on one of those, come to think of it. Oh, you did? Was it fun? Well, it seemed like everyone and their grandma had a blast, but not me. Did something go wrong, Adachi-san? Motion sickness got you? Ah, it's just no fun when the destination ends up being your parents' neighborhood. Ooh. Mm. So, I visited my mom, she cooked me a meal, and I went home. Felt like your average visit. Man, that's like eating ice cream for breakfast, then finding out dessert is the same ice cream. <sighs> your analogies are terrible. Oh, no. my plate. Thank you very much. Oh no, I drink too much. Aloha. Thank you very much. Hey, get over here.
Aloha. Sip of blue Hawaii, am I right? Oh, so good. Delish, right? And this one in particular happens to be extra special. A scene from a classic movie was shot here, and the main characters each had a blue Hawaii in hand, just like the ones we're drinking. As you can imagine, there are a ton of movie buffs who come on a sort of pilgrimage to try these. Wow, really? So this experience might be even better if I'd seen the movie? Oh, I'm gonna have to watch it and come back. Oh, you totally should. It has a really entertaining plot. Oh, but the one where they drink Blue Hawaii's was actually the finale of a trilogy. Is that so? Then I'll just have to commit to one and two as well. Oh, wait, and then there's a spin-off TV series with a super important episode that you just can't miss. Plus, the antagonist has his own movie, so you should 100% see that if you really want to get into the lore. Oh, and that's technically a prequel. So then... Guess this'll be my last Blue Hawaii for a while, then. Oh, Need my plate. Thank you very much. That is one hell of a trek. Take a breather. Damn near walked the whole island tagging along with you. I miss my taxi. Hey man, karma's a bitch. Oh, and I know it. But it hasn't been all bad. It's like this town kind of seems brand new when I look at it through your eyes. There's a new surprise around every corner. Real? I feel the same way. I don't know left from right out here. I feel at ease with you and Chicha on my side. First impressions kind of sucked, but in the end, we could come pals. Funny the way things turn out. That's thanks to you. If there were anyone else, I doubt we'd be chumming it up over coffee. Not that I should talk. You're one of a kind, Ichiban. Oh, no kidding. Well then, from here on out, I can't disappoint. <laughs> kind of tricks you have up your sleeve. Hmm, well, let's see. about camping? It's a chance to drive a big truck, right? Let's all pile in and go! That is a good point. Camping, huh? Not a bad idea. Right? Plus, I was homeless for a bit, so of course I'm a pretty skilled outdoorsman. Those are not the same thing. Man, your casual revelations always catch me off guard. Time flies when I'm talking with you. Maybe because I can say shit unfiltered. Nothing wrong with a little discretion, no? Not that I've ever used any. Why am I not surprised? Anyway, let's head out. Wow, look at that sunset. Oh, I see it all the time. It's never hit me like this. Wow, that's gorgeous. Hey, why don't we take a pic? Title it, Our Beautiful Sunset Memorial. Such a dumb name. But whatever. Came out pretty good. Our next pick should be the Sunny Sunrise Memorial. How many memorials are you planning to make?
Time to put our feet up. These aromas really do stimulate the appetite. What should we try first? Your colts are doing okay? If not, I could always do the eating. <laughs> I appreciate your consideration, but I'm quite all right. I have high pain tolerance when it comes to issues like this. You don't have to push yourself. Just eat once you're better. I'm only kidding. My cold sore is all gone. Even spicy ramen shouldn't be a problem now. Okay, as long as you're fine, I don't want to force you. Thanks for your concern. You do eat a lot though, Junki. When the two of us meet up, it feels like all we do is eat. Meals are the basis of life. But since you mentioned it, I feel like I do eat out more when I'm with you, Kasuga-san. <laughs> well, a meal just tastes better when you're with a kindred spirit, am I right? The fact that you say such things sincerely and truly mean it, that's a noble trait. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's a compliment, right? Of course. My personal commendation. <laughs> At any rate, sometimes a home-cooked meal is more appealing than an extravagant dinner out. True. I make a meal just for you. You, Kasuga-san? You can cook? Sure. It's your choice of hard-boiled, sunny-side up, or scrambled eggs. <laughs> so a basic breakfast is all you can make. <laughs> Still, I do appreciate the sentiment. I'll be sure to bring along a carton of eggs. Then I'll fry them up. Ooh, that meal was phenomenal. <laughs> you should see the smile on your face. I'm totally sending a pic to Sunny. It has a status report, you know? The status reports are fine and good, but why now? Unless you intend to be in the picture. Besides, don't you report to Kiryu-san? What's the point of reporting to Kiryu-san that we just finished eating? Well, why not? What an utterly ridiculous photo. Son, he doesn't need to see that. Isn't ridiculous just business as usual? Can't argue there. <laughs> There's never a dull moment with you, Kasuga-san. Hey, the feeling's mutual. Something about fried rice really takes me back. 
Actually, I just remembered. It was a cold winter night. Whoa! Does he normally start monologuing out of nowhere? Back when I was an officer. I was out with a colleague of mine and we ordered fried rice to share. Ah, oh, we were just a couple of rookies at the time. Hardly a yen to our names. Can you believe it? The bastard ate all the shrimp! There was barely any to begin with. Well, one thing led to another, and then we were trading blows. So what happened next? Well, the restaurant banned our dumbasses, that's what. Can't say that I didn't see that coming. That's a damn tragedy. Realizing I'd never taste that fluffy, buttery bowl of heaven again. But, as luck would have it, one day I was finally reunited with the dish of my dreams. The restaurant lifted the ban? Oh, nah. I ended up making a perfect recreation after stumbling upon this Chinese seasoning I scored from a local supermarket. <laughs> oh. Well, it was a heartwarming lesson in my life. I realized then that a rose really could grow from a crack in some cold, hard concrete. That <laughs> make you all warm and fuzzy inside, Tommy? Right now, the only thing that'd make me warm and fuzzy is never hearing him again. That is great. my plate. Arriba. Welcome. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking?
Oh, no. I drank too much. <laughs> Welcome. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? You'd like to take this exam. Yeah. 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 Congratulations! Yeah. 
Thanks. Um, losing. <laughs> Welcome. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? You'd like...
Ah. <sighs> 
<laughs> Welcome. Have you decided on you like? Welcome. Have you just used the <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Have you used the like Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
Hi there. <laughs> Welcome. Have you decided on which exam you'll be taking? Please come again. escalator do people stand on here? Huh? In Japan, they stand on the left in Kanto, and the right in Kanto. You know, so people who are walking can pass. Oh, I guess so. Well, in Hawaii. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take a guess. I'll bet you a soda, Kasuga. A real man's wager, I see. You're on. On Hawaiian escalators, you stand. Today is gonna be a blast. On the right! Okay, then I take left side. Hmm. Well, the answer is... You're both wrong. What? There's no rule for which side to take. Stand in the middle if you want. Almost no one walks on escalators. No way. Escalators aren't meant for walking in the first place. GG, boys. I await my sodas. Damn, she got us. Aloha. Thank you for stopping.
Aloha! Thank you very much. Aloha. Thank you for Welcome. Got this, Akari. I love you, you Lora-san. I would really ask you to, um, date with me. Oh. Yeah, by which I mean have a date with me. Uh, go out dating with me. Um, you have to date me uh, forever. <gasps> easy, easy. Calm yourself and don't repeat yourself. Uh... I'm... Very sorry. <laughs> oh. I... Well, I appreciate the sentiment. I do, Ikari-san. You deserve to know the honest truth, however. I respect the courage you've shown here. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sure thing. And I... I should show some courage of my own. I owe it to everyone. Laura-chan? 
Huh? Kasuka-san, I love you. Uh. <laughs> what? What? You see, I told myself it would be wrong to mix professional and personal feelings. But when Akari-san opened himself up just now, I realized I can no longer deny what my heart is saying. To be honest, I'd worry about losing the respect of such a valued co-worker as Ikari-san if I didn't face the truth. No, I'd be just fine with it. I swear. Come on, Warren Sean. I, I mean, why me? <laughs> I've always loved sweet, sincere, hardworking men. In fact, that's what drew me to becoming a receptionist here. Admittedly, I've made mistakes and ended up in relationships with students in the past. What? Lord John, you never told me you've had prior relationships. And just as I was getting over my previous affairs, you walked through our doors, Kasuga-san. You're so effortlessly cool. You're one of our smartest students, and watching you apply yourself on every exam was just... <sighs> breathtaking. I've got way more certifications than this idiot! You want cool? How's that for cool? Ikari-san, I'm sorry, but you're just not my type. Besides, aren't you always telling me how strict office harassment protocols are? Kasuga uh, san I adore you! Please, unless I'm, I'm not worthy? No, it's not that. Lord John, you're amazing. You're way too good for me, even. Kasuga, I'll bury you! You haven't seen the last of Ikari! Ikari! Uh, wait a second! Kasuga san? Lord John, hold on. I, I, I'm glad you feel this way. I've got someone else. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. I'm rank one on our polyamory certification. You can have both of us without any jealousy. What the hell kind of certification is that? Onabara. It means the great wild ocean. We'll certify anything. Well, okay. <sighs> Wonderful, Kasuga-san. Your passion for broadening your horizons is... undeniable. As for the Laura exam, I award you third rank. Thanks. I'm honored. Let's both do our best to help you reach rank two. I look forward to seeing you again. Oh. <gasps> Looking at her, you never know how educated she is. Kasuga! Hmm? Whoa, 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 Akari! I I'm sorry, okay? Please, calm down! The time for forgiveness is over! Now, to put my ace machine gun in certification to you! Fraternize in hell, you This is it. That came out well.
This is it. That came out well. Came out well. What? Hello? Yes. Oh, hi. Yeah.
I think this suits me quite well. You have my thanks. Oh no. I drank too much. What are you Aloha. Thank you for. Aloha. Thank you. What? Thank you for This is it. That came out well.
This is it. That came out well. Ichiban Blend is an intriguing name. <laughs> Reminds me of a certain someone. I had the same thought. It's a funny name. <laughs> well, you know, this is actually mine. I really like the flavor. At first it seemed a little harsh, but then this delicate and bright aroma flooded my senses. This is a first for me. Yeah, you get a punch of bitterness, and then it leaves you with a sweet, gentle aftertaste. I've never had anything like it. Definitely. Apparently, this is an original blend. But it makes me wonder what the inspiration was. They've got a great vision. For sure. Oh, we should ask the owner next time. Oh, uh, sorry, Ichiban. Were you about to say something? Oh, oh, no. It was nothing. <laughs> Good copy, though, right? <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, okay, then. After hearing all that, letting them know feels a bit awkward now. <laughs> Guess I gotta become a guy who can live up to such praise. Huh? That oh, is great. No. Need my plate. This is it. That came out well. Back, Back to, the, to grind. the grind. I just got my credit card statement through the damn roof. Why is that? You get scammed? I was worried I did, so I went through all the charges. But then I figured it out. Well? Every charge was correct. I bought each one. Um. So... Just saying. I just got my credit card statement. Through the damn roof. Why is that? You get scammed? I was worried I did, so I went through all the charges. Then I figured it out. Well? Every charge was correct. I bought each one. Um. So... Just saying. Always check your statements. You never know if someone out there stolen your credit card number. Or if someone right here has stolen minutes from my life. What are you looking at? This is it. That came out well. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, this is the How exciting. Full power! Nice going here. This is it. That came out well. One, two, men. Maybe.
I have a very high tolerance. Don't go crazy this time. This is it. That came out well. One team hey, uh, Maybe. Hey, you there! Huh. What do I make of that? Just tell me if this you is know. it. That came out well. Go well, anywhere, bro. I know. This is it. That came out well.
This is it. That came out well. Thanks very much. Not the worst, folks.
いらっしゃい。ありがとう This is it. That came out well.
Aloha! <laughs> The battle is on! Okay, I'm up. Let's do this! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's get him done! Right. <laughs> we need that! Yeah. This is it. That came out well. Oh, hold on! 
Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Huh? Oh. Yo, let's do that thing. Right on. Watch where you're looking. You might get hurt. Oh. Open one. This ain't moonshine, fella. Oh. Oh. Nice. 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 Finish me off then. There you go. Token of friendship. How about it? Huh? <laughs> You're a funny one, ain't you? This is it. That came out well. This is it. That came out well. Aloha. Thank you. This is it. That came out well. This is it. That came out well. Mm, you guys smell that? Mm, it's nice. It smells like mm, being back at my folks' place. I think it's Lomeria's. That a flower? Mm, they're popular in Hawaii, those white ones. Oh, yeah. They're comforting. 
Is there some chemical in them that relaxes you? I'm not sure about that. They're commonly used in air fresheners, though. Actually, Survive had one with that scent in their toilets. The toilets? You know what? Yeah! That must be why it smells so comfy. Does that mean... Adachi-san's parents' house and the bathroom at Survive have the same fragrance? Could... could you not, please? Hey! Hi! a little something from me.
Mm, I don't feel so good. Knock it off with the steering. This is it. That came out well. 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 I don't feel right. This is it. That came out well. Ha <laughs> ha. See you next hour. See you next hour. Welcome. 
Um. Hey. Hmm. See you next time. Aloha. Thank you very much. Welcome. Sup? What? Sup? What?
Is this the place? What kind of activity are we doing? <laughs> you want to know what you'll be doing? Well, it's me, silly. S excuse me? Huh? You couldn't hear me? Uh, okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> you are gonna be doing me! I, I don't get it. So dense. Listen up. I'm saying we're gonna have a wild time in bed. Do I have to spell it out for you? Wait, what? At first I thought you were some klutzy, dangerous oaf. But while watching you engage in our activities with the passion of a young, eager stallion, I couldn't help but be enthralled. And now my heart's beating out of control. It won't stop. Will you help me? Hey, I appreciate your feelings, but there's already someone special in my heart. Oh my god, is that true? Yeah, Scout's Honor. In that case, I guess... I'm cool with that. You are? Sure, what's so bad about a one-night stand? At the very least, it's exercise! D did you hear a word I just said? Okay, guess not. We're not doing this here. Hey, hold on! Hello Happy, now! Hello Happy. Hello Happy, get your hideous ass out of the way! Hello Happy. Our mission at Hello Happy Tours is to provide our guests with world class experiences unique to Hawaii. And the memories will make them last a lifetime. You ready to taste my hospitality? Say it with me! Let's make each other Hello Happy! Hello Happy! Kahuna, what just happened? That was a splendid activity, don't you think? Now you've truly experienced the full range of what Hawaii has to offer. Allo Happy Tours will continue to rely on your loyal patronage. Well then, until next time. <laughs> yeah, next time. Never knew these Hawaiian tours could be so hands-on. Or in depth. Oh. Get over here. Hey, okay, call me crazy, but something about Ichiban's been, uh, hotter lately? Hotter my ass. You're probably just feeling the weather. Hawaii is a lot warmer than Japan. Ugh, I didn't mean it like that. I'm talking about passion here. You know, a fiery spirit. Ah, you think so? Well, maybe this new environment brought something out in me. All right. If anyone's got any problems, don't hesitate to tell your pal Ichiban. I'll rip each of those problems a brand new asshole! Okay, passion's fine and all, but you might want to simmer down. If you go burning out of control there, we might just collapse from heat stroke. Oh, but isn't that part of his charm? <laughs> hey, watch your step there. Oh, thanks. You're such a nice guy, Ichiban. 
Is that even a compliment these days? I kid, I kid. <laughs> you do have a good heart, though. I respect that. Really? I don't think I did anything special. Now I'm all self-conscious. Well, they do say kindness is its own reward and all that. Maybe I ought to be nicer to people. Yeah? <laughs> you can start by being nicer to me. Okay, then. Hey, watch your step there. I just said that a second ago. Welcome. Excuse me. Welcome. Welcome. Mm. Huh? Excuse me. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks. Hey! Oh, aloha. Thanks.
Time to put our feet up. Welcome. Excuse me. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks. Yo, is that another call from your Comey Jewel subordinate? It was, yes. Honestly, it's a bit worrisome. I was under the impression they'd be comfortable with everything. Now it's starting to feel like harassment, since they defer to my judgment on even the most trivial of matters. But isn't it great they depend on you so much? I guess that means they still need you around. Feels better than being told everything's fine, even when you're not there. Huh, I didn't consider that. You do make a good point. Oh, yeah, I've been wondering. Who'd you leave in charge? Do I know him? No, I don't believe you two have ever met. But they do know about you, Kasuga-san. Her name is Yana, young woman. Not yet 30, if I recall correctly. Oh, you've got a girl working for you. And before you ask, yes, she, she is quite beautiful. She's learned some mannerisms from Sunny herself. Wow. So is she like a little sister to Sunny? It'd be great if she were, but the two of them aren't that close. At least not yet. Don't underestimate young blood. Quick to catch on. Best be on your guard, old timer. Honestly, if they caught on quicker, Ijincho would be safer for the next ten years. I wouldn't have it any other way. Here, have a look. This is Yana. Oh, damn. You weren't lying about her being pretty. You know, this doesn't really look like a picture of a boss and his subordinate. She's a huge fan of yours, ain't she? Well, yes, she does admire me. But that's where the root of the problem lies. It's very likely that she doesn't want to make any mistakes in front of me, so she keeps asking me for direction. So that's the deal with all the phone calls. Up until this point, all she had to do was follow my orders without having to think twice. However, the moment Sunny and I stepped out of the picture, she's had to think for herself and make her own decisions. To keep both Komi Jewel and the Liu Meng running as they are, she can't afford to take a short break. Yana has to learn just how much effort it takes for these groups to assert their authority within Yijincho. I do feel a little sorry for her, though. I mean, you kind of dumped all this on her, right? Is that truly the case? Huh? You never know what will happen in our world. One day, you might just lose those you've relied on. I believe that I've given her an ample opportunity to steal herself for such a situation, should it ever come to pass. Whether they like it or not, the ones who will come to inherit our legacy are those of future generations. It is my hope that she emerges from this situation a little more hardened. Yeah, I feel you. And hopefully, Yana will get where you're coming from, too. It'd be pretty upsetting if she didn't, though. I agree with you there. The fact that she keeps calling me only makes me more concerned. Sounds like Yana's got herself a great boss. Back when I was under Captain Sawashiro, he either beat you senseless or yelled at you. You're the better option, Jungi. Like, way better. Because, you know... The captain would never want a picture with me. Did you want one with Sawashiro? <laughs> I'd pay good money to see that. No, I, I thought about taking one before, but I'm good. Doubt either of us would be happy with that kind of photo. Speak of the devil. Another call from Yana. Pardon me, I have to take this. You know, for all his talk about wanting her to be more independent, 
he sure does dote on her. Guess I'll wrap it up here, all by myself. I'm starving. Oh, what are we waiting, waiting for? Oh man, the fruit here are so sweet and delectable. They're definitely a cut above others I've tried. According to my research, this fruit is sourced exclusively from a farmer that plays classical music for the plants in his orchard. He serenades his crops? Oh, I, I saw something like that on TV once. They were saying beautiful music does something to enhance the flavor. Wow, so the key to deliciousness is music? Now that's bougie. That's just like the concept of showering a flower with loving words while watering it, to help it grow more fully. But, but if you're the kind of person who tells each plant, you're gonna turn out so beautiful. You know, you probably don't have much discretion in the first place. Well, that negates the whole premise, doesn't it? Yeah, but if someone with a nurturing personality cultivates a flower, wouldn't it bloom better regardless? Hmm, guess it would. So the reason these fruits are delicious is because some farmer out there loved his plants enough to try playing them music? Well, that might be oversimplifying things. Studies actually suggest the vibrations from classical music have the potential to stimulate photosynthesis in plants. Stimulate? Photosynthesis. In other words, sound waves can directly enhance a fruit's development. Man, the depth science is reached nowadays. Oh, that does it. For the next cucumber harvest, let's put on some hard rock. Oh, heck yeah. Those powerful vibes might produce some super juicy cukes. Ugh, I'm sure glad I'm not one of your plants. That's great. Need my plate. Thank you. <laughs> 